Let's take a look at the first example. In this case, we're supposed to combine the like terms first. So I'm going to copy down 4 and I have a and minus 4 plus 8. Minus 4 plus 8 is equal positive 4. Why? Because anytime you add negative number to positive, you're supposed to perform the subtraction from the bigger number, subtract the smaller number and keep the sign of the larger number. 8 minus 4 is equal 4 and I'm supposed to keep the sign which is next to the larger number. It's positive. That's why I have a plus 4. In order to find the value of a, I'm supposed to eliminate this 4 from the right side of my equation. Anytime you add or subtract, you're supposed to move the variables or numbers. So that's why I'm going to move positive 4 to the other side of the equal sign. Remember, anytime you move the number or variable or the whole term to the other side of the equal sign and the rest of the equation stays at original positions, you're supposed to change this sign from positive in this case to negative. That's why I'm going to have 4 minus 4 is equal a. 4 minus 4 is equal 0 equals a. So I'm going to write a is equal 0. If you want to verify the answer, you're supposed to replace this a by 0. Let's check. I have 4 equals 0 minus 4 plus 8. 4 equals 0 minus 4 is negative 4 plus 8 is equal 4. Left side of my equation is equal to the right side of the equation. That's why a equals 0 is the solution to my problem. Let's take a look at the second example. I have to find value of x this time. Now, please notice that this term where x is placed is negative. I'm looking for positive value of x. So what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to take the whole term and move to the left side in order to make it positive. Now, because 5 doesn't have x, I'm going to take it and move to the right side in order to combine the like terms. So I'm going to have 3x equals minus 7 minus 5. Anytime you move number, term or the variable to the other side of the equal sign, if at least one of the terms or numbers of the original equation stays at the same position, you're supposed to change the sign. That's why I change this negative to positive and this positive to negative. Why? Because negative 7 stays at its original position. That's why I'm going to have 3x equals minus 7 and minus 5. You're supposed to add these two values and keep the sign. It's going to be equal negative 12. In order to find x, I have to divide both sides equation by 3. Why? Because I want to find x by itself and I want to eliminate multiplication. Anytime you want to eliminate multiplication, you're supposed to use division. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x equals negative divided by positive, invisible positive, is equal negative. 12 divided by 3 is equal 4. This is the solution to my problem.